Price gouging is a reoccurring problem due to natural disasters. This is when someone raises the price of a product when it is needed the most. For example, in a hurricane, many people try to leave in order to be safe. People in the airline industry can take advantage of them and may boost ticket prices. They know some people will do anything to leave and will pay the extra money. There are many state laws against price gouging protecting the consumers during an emergency, but there are no federal laws against it. Many states also have criminal charges attached to their laws, including a fine, losing a license or permit, or even arrest. The criteria for price gouging comes evident during an emergency or crisis situation, when essential items or services are needed, and when the price limits are set much too high. These natural disasters consist of hurricanes, tornadoes, floods, and more. A natural disaster can cause great damage to a community and may even lead to death, especially if people don't have the equipment to survive. Lots of companies take advantage of an emergency situation in order to get more profit. If they are selling water, they may increase their prices because they know people will be wanting and looking for it. In preparation for 2017's Hurricane Irma, one person bought a case of 24 water bottles for $100 off of Amazon. There were similar cases sold from $8 to $44 by 29 different online sellers. The prices of airplane tickets increased tremendously. There were $2,000 airplane tickets out of Miami, Florida to Mississippi the week before the hurricane. Victims can be affected greatly when they can't get the items and support they need, whether it be a generator, water, gas or fuel, medicine, food, transportation, or more. If price gouging continues, even when there are laws against it, it will decrease the chances of survival in emergency situations.